World Racing Cars race again in the JCB Historic Car Race at Silverstone for the 1973 Historic Car Championship. For the young, it's a vintage car race. For older enthusiasts, an exercise in nostalgia, recalling famous cars and drivers of the past. Earl Howe briefs his drivers before the Grand Prix at Silverstone in 1948. That's when the wartime bomber training airfield became one of only two official motor racing circuits in the British Isles. And they're off. And the commentator of 25 years ago takes over. The race was run over the flat airfield circuit. 65 laps of about 3.7 miles each, a total of just on 250 miles, and speeds up to 115 miles an hour were attained. High speed on the course was matched by snappy work and great excitement in the pits, but there was a bigger thrill in store. Ansel, driving an ERA, number 22, was fairly stepping on it, but he made a miscalculation at Maggot's Corner, one of the many sharp turns, and there he goes. Eventually, Villarese won by 14 seconds from Ascari at an average speed of 72.28, and that's surely worth a wreath of laurels. It's a point of interest that the speeds in those far-off days were only 15 miles per hour slower than those achieved by the record holders of today. Then, as now, motor racing was dangerous. working feverishly in the paddock at Silverstone before the John Player Grand Prix 1973. Graham Hill's Embassy Shadow Ford making its British debut. John Player specials of Ronnie Peterson and Emerson Fittipaldi. Denny Holm, Team Yardley McLaren. Peter Revson driving his Yardley McLaren Ford out of the paddock. Yoni Schechter, also Yardley McLaren, number 30. Nicky Lauder and a Marlborough BRM. Jackie Stewart and Tyrrell Ford, number five. A final word between the reigning champion and his mechanics. Ronnie Peterson in number two. Jackie Stewart, number five. Francois Sever. Schechter, number 30, followed by Revson and Hull. And it's a push-off for Jackie Stewart. Graham Hill. And Fittipaldi. And they're off. Racing towards Cops Corner, Jackie Stewart is already in the lead with Peterson and Carlos Reutemann in number 10 close behind. Beckett's Corner is the tightest corner on the track and there's always a danger of oversteering and careering off the track onto the grass on the outside. Club corner and Stewart still in the lead, followed by number two, Peterson, and number ten, Reutemann. On the second lap, and Stewart has established a clear 300-yard lead, still being chased by Peterson and Reutemann. But there's trouble in the rear. At 160 miles per hour plus, Yodi Schechter, number 30, takes Woodcote wide slews across the grass into the safety barrier and ricochets back onto the track into the path of other cars racing into him at more than 150 miles per hour. In split seconds, there's one almighty pilot as car after car crashes into the wreckage. Marshals flag down other cars still speeding unawares around Woodcote towards the danger zone.
the remains of Schechter's Yardley McLaren. It's like a battlefield. Old timers say nothing like this has ever happened before in the history of Grand Prix racing. All three of the Brook Bond Surtees team are a write-off and John Surtees wonders whether he can ever start up again. And Andrea de Adamich is trapped in his Brabham Ford. The British Grand Prix starts for the second time, nine cars short out of the original 28. And this time it's Ronnie Peterson in number two in the lead as they race round Cops Corner. Beckett's corner with Peterson holding on to the lead. Peterson, Nicky Lauder in a Marlborough BRM and Jackie Stewart. Tom's corner, second lap, no change. But at Beckett's corner, Stewart is lying second. With Nicky Lauder close behind, followed by Emerson Fittipaldi. Peterson, Stewart, Lauder, Fittipaldi, Denny Holm and Peter Revson. And on the sixth lap, Stewart drops back to 13th place after spinning at Stowe, trying to overtake Peterson. Graham Hill's new embassy shadow rounding Beckett. So far, no challenge to the leader. And next time round at Beckett's, Graham's in trouble and it looks like he's out of the race. On lap 37, Fittipaldi loses drive to his rear wheels. Francois Severe, number six. Lap 52, Revson in the lead. But then Holm in number seven overtakes Hunt in 27. And it's Revson racing towards the finish with Peterson second and Holm third. Revson, Peterson, Holm and James Hunt in a Hesketh March fourth. American Peter Revson wins the British Grand Prix 1973 in a Yardley McLaren Ford. <laughs>